Hey everyone, so this morning's Pokemon Presents was definitely quite the interesting presentation with a lot of entertaining stuff finally getting revealed and in many cases released, so let's begin. Okay, so they leave here with information on the a World Championships in Yokohama this weekend, which I'll be watching at home. Um, believe me, if I want, if I would love to be there to see them, if I could. But what I will also be seeing is a new animation that's going to be starting in that same time frame, a Path to the Peak, which is one of several animated projects that are being, being set up in this video. And I'll get to those in a few moments, so let's continue. So have you have more information on, on Detective Pikachu Returns, the sequel to the 2018 3DS title. On top of more characters and mysteries being set up, we get to see more gameplay detailed, and Tim trying to unravel more details planning his father Harry, and more of how the Sword and Shield wants are going to play in the story. We there's also the implication that Rhyme City is in Galar as well, given how they filmed the movie in London, and apparently they are still working on the sequel of that as well, even with the dual strikes in mind, which will definitely better in. But either way, October 6th, definitely going to be a day one pickup in my case. Yeah. Hmm. On that subject, that's another clip of the Pokemon Horizons English dub, which... Well, formally announced for 2020 and beyond, on uh, now has a much more vague coming soon date on it. I mean, my guess is because of dual strikes that are currently in progress, and beyond that, to borrow a line from Scott, it looks fine. Okay, hmm. the first of several app updates. We have the Pokemon Go Festival later this month, including some of the ones that are specific to other parts of the world, and... Starting September, we have Paldea Monsters joining the roster. That's kind of interesting, to say the least, and looks like I got more medals to start earning, and I'll definitely be doing another video on Pokemon Go oh, later in the week, especially given how this, this marks seven years I started playing it, and let's just say that even though I don't feel as strongly about the current state of it as other people do, that's not to say I still don't have something to contribute, which is based on my policy. I don't address anything major unless I personally have something out of the conversation. Yeah. We have some Pokemon Unite perks in play as well, oh, which shows, which include medals. I'm still trying to figure out how those work in that game, but also some bonuses regarding Mewtwo and Mew that I was able to claim with the second anniversary code, code it's said to allow 40 hours for them to arrive, and so I shall. Now, and Nimona is also coming to Pokemon Masters EX. Not sure if we're able to get her, but given how someone who likes the character quite a bit, I will definitely have something to say whether he is my fourth anniversary years later part or it's on that game as well, so. Let's keep going. There's also a Tatsu Geary event currently in progress, Pokemon Cafe Remix. I mean, this was given like a spell drop update before this presentation went live. I just thought it would be just now to talk about it. Same with some of the other details that were leaked. I mean, as I mentioned before, I do not address leaks, leaks on this channel, only confirmed details. So let's continue now they have been confirmed. With that being the case, this was one of the, another leak ahead of the presentation that we finally got releases for both Pokemon Stadium 2 and Pokemon Training Card Game on next on N64 Online and Game Boy Online respectively, with the latter being like the last title of the initial way of Game Boy games, and the former being one of the last ones of the first wave of N64, the second wave of N64 titles, I mean, that's just leaves like Sight Bike and 1080, I believe, but that's a matter of the day. Hey, what? Well, I'll definitely probably do other videos on them both, 
because I played Spitium to extensively when I was younger and I still do, but you know, but trading card game on Game Boy is new experience for me. I me and it would be nice with all the legacy titles on there at some point in the future, but I don't know if that's gonna happen for certain. At the very least, I would appreciate Pinball on Game Boy Online and Ruby and Sapphire Pinball on Game Boy Advance Online in the future. Yeah. Okay, so Pokemon Sleep has a full moon moon event coming, and I'm honestly surprised a lot of you are that this app finally came out, unlike the infamous Wii Vitality Sensor. I mean, I mean, this is the only sleep tracker I use and plan on using. And it definitely helped get me enough rest for this presentation in the morning. And I'm enjoying just little things like Professor Neroli and the, how different species sleep, even. And just how much rest I'm getting lately. I mean, so... I definitely will keep going, so let's move on. September 6th, we have... Have the Pokemon Paldean Winds OVA, which worked on a lot of the same people who did the excellent Pokemon Hisuian Snow OVA. Hey, and given how it's actually going to be focusing on the Pokemon Academy, as well as featuring Arvan and Clavel, as well as heavy hints are going to be seeing both Nimona and Penny in there as well, with new students resembling those, those from um, Scarlet and Violet paid with some of their own flair. It's basically what I was hoping the Horizons would be if I did have to part with you-know-who. For now, at least. Mm -hmm. So, no Captain Pikachu DLC yet. However, I think we got some even better so far for Scarlet and Violet, ahead of the expansions I'll be talking about in a moment. We have Mew Event DLC and the other leak that was had the presentation, a Mewtwo Terray battle, which can also be enhanced by a or or Mew in your party. Be sure to train, aim for that at next month, and definitely keep 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 in mind for that. And now. The moment you've all been waiting for. Oops. After the success of the main games, the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero finally has the release date, at least for its first half, with the Teal Mask. Mask coming on September 13th, with Indigo Disc still on track for the winter time. I'm, I'll get into more detail again in a separate video, but for now, I will say I'm liking the idea of how they're handling in Ogre Pond and Terrapagos, as well as other new monsters as Diplin, an evolved form of Applin, which resembled a candy apple, man, maybe the shiny look like a caramel apple, I don't know, and Archaludon, a an evolved form of Duralodon, which instantly ended up being one of my favorite monsters of Generation 8. I guess if that one comes kind of like Metroplex, especially in its Dynamax form, or more Gigantamax form, this one may be my like Quadrant Ma it's Maximus. And with that in mind, I definitely look forward to bringing you more information on, on these and more titles, titles as it becomes available. And once I have the means to do so, I'll definitely opt in to Hidden Treasure Area Zero in both of these. And that'll be all for now. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Take care, everyone. Mm.